Welcome to the Windows and Computer channel and we will take a few videos. People were asking me because I did post videos of some of the new features of the May 2019 update but I get more requests of people saying can you group like you know two or three new features and explain them in one video and maybe do several videos with that will you know eventually have like all the new features uh, by doing this. So I'm going to do this this week so that everybody uh, sees what the new Op uh, new optional or the new updates basically the new features of the May 2019 update will have so today the first three new features that I deem interesting in the May 2019 update first one is the search and the Cortana separated from each other but mostly streamlined search as they call it so you see here it gives you an idea of some of the most used apps so basically what happens is that new search will now tell you the top apps you've been using file explorer microsoft edge powerpoint and google chrome in this case also the recent activity as you see here edge uh, chromium canary is some of the apps i've been using so this is of course brand new and will actually depending on the size of your um, smart uh, your smart your start menu and of course the font that you use you'll have more or less information in here but you'll always see what you've been doing um, recently on your PC this is nice actually it's a nice add-on to the um, search capability of Windows 10 so that's one of the first things uh, and of course to note that Cortana and search are now separated on the taskbar that's the first little thing that I wanted to kind of talk about in this um, May 2019 update feature. Another feature of the May 2019 update, what could it be? Um, and it has to do with Windows Sandbox mode. Now this PC is a home version of Windows 10 so it does not have uh, the Sandbox mode. Uh, but Sandbox mode is a Windows within a Windows. That means that you can run in the Pro and Enterprise version a Windows uh, version that will actually be kind of like a new clean install and it is sandboxed so it's within um, basically uh, you could say it's it's confined to a space where even if you would run something that's infected with a virus or malware uh, ransomware it cannot infect your machine so it's a great place to test anything that you would like to test it's also a great place to test um, you know software or test maybe uh, some things that you just can't have working in Windows but in that environment which is like a clean install that doesn't have anything else except just the basic Windows 10 operating system uh, see if maybe it's gonna work in that environment uh, and it you know is a great way to test out software test out different things and make sure that uh, you know it doesn't impact your machine uh, if you install software in there or in apps well you know that once you actually remove yourself or shut down the sandbox mode your sandbox mode will just be removed and you won't have any after effect because it only happens within that window uh, it's like having a separate computer within your computer so anything that happens in there does not impact the rest of your system so that's a pretty cool system drawback it has to be in uh, pro version or enterprise uh, it's the only places where it works uh, and one drawback also is that it, of course it's like a clean install that installs all the crap and downloads all the apps that Microsoft wants you to have I hope they could fix that so that the sandbox mode doesn't have to do it but uh, we'll see depending on the future and one last feature for this video because we'll have uh, several videos with features like that is the fact that it's easier than ever to manage your own accounts so when you go to accounts it's easier than ever now to manage your account and to sign in uh, with your account and have the information if you want to know more about it you can now click manage my Microsoft account see in a very easy glance what are your privacy settings so checking out you know your different uh, settings your different things how everything is working the different devices that are being used 
your order history if you actually have any history or any anything that you might want to have and what's nice is that you can check out all the different stuff your privacy you can check your activity history that tells you what everybody what everything that Microsoft has stored in your account online in the cloud uh, security information you can update and check out if everything's up to date and uh, basically get help so uh, it's easier than ever to have all of that information at a glance thanks to an easier way and a faster way of getting your information and manage your Microsoft account so, so this is one in a series of videos that we'll have this week on some of the top features each video will have three features um, of the May 2019 update and hope that you enjoy our videos. If you enjoy, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.